Welcome to Wisdom Oasis. Join me as we explore the signs of manipulative behavior. Discover seven indicators and effective responses for healthier connections. If you find this insightful, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to Wisdom Oasis, and let's embark on this journey together. 1. Constant Guilt Tripping Constant guilt tripping involves someone consistently making you feel bad on purpose. They often play the victim or act burdened to manipulate your emotions and control your actions. To handle this, it's important to establish clear boundaries. When you notice these guilt-inducing behaviors, assertively communicate your limits. Don't let guilt dictate your decisions. Stick to your rules. This not only preserves your emotional well-being, but also maintains a healthier balance in your relationships. 2. Gaslighting Gaslighting is when someone messes with your mind to make you doubt yourself. They twist facts, deny things, or say you're imagining stuff. It's like they're trying to confuse you so you don't trust your own thoughts or feelings. To handle gaslighting, trust your gut instincts, keep track of what really happened, and talk to friends or family for support. Don't let someone make you question your reality. It's important to stand up for what you know is true and maintain clarity in your thoughts and feelings despite the attempts to distort them. 3. Selective Information Sharing Selective information sharing is when someone only tells you part of the story to manipulate how you think or feel. They leave out details on purpose, making it hard for you to see the whole picture. It's like getting only a puzzle piece instead of the full picture. To deal with this, ask for all the facts and context. Double-check information independently if you can. Encouraging honest and open communication helps ensure you're not being missled. By seeking complete information, you empower yourself to make informed decisions and avoid being influenced by someone who selectively shares details to suit their agenda. 4. Emotional Blackmail Emotional blackmail is when someone uses your feelings against you to get their way. They might threaten to be upset, angry, or sad if you don't do what they want. It's like they're holding your emotions hostage to control you. To handle emotional blackmail, set clear boundaries and express your feelings calmly. Don't give in to the pressure and stand firm on your decisions. Recognize that your emotions belong to you, and no one should use them as a tool for manipulation. By asserting your boundaries, you maintain control over your own feelings and prevent manipulation through emotional tactics. 5. Isolation Tactics Isolation tactics happen when someone tries to keep you away from friends and family. They want you to depend only on them, making it easier for them to control you. It's like building a wall around you so that you feel alone and rely solely on manipulator. To handle this, keep strong connections with loved ones. Share your experiences and concerns with trusted friends and family. By maintaining these connections, you resist being isolated and gain support to see through the manipulator's intentions. Building a network of support ensures you don't become isolated and controlled by someone's efforts to cut you off from others. 6. Flattery and Charm Flattery and charm involve someone using excessive compliments and friendliness to manipulate you. It's like they're trying to win you over by saying really nice things or being overly friendly. This behavior can be deceiving because they might not genuinely mean what they say. To handle flattery and charm, be cautious and don't be swayed just by words. Look at their actions too. Take the time to understand the overall situation and consider whether their behavior aligns with their words. Being mindful helps you avoid falling for superficial charm and ensures you make decisions based on genuine intentions rather than mere compliments. 7. Constant Criticism Constant criticism happens when someone keeps pointing out your faults or mistakes all the time. It's like they're always focusing on what you do wrong, making you feel bad about yourself. This behavior can be a way to control and undermine your confidence. To handle constant criticism, build a strong sense of self-worth. Address constructive criticism positively, but don't let unwarranted negativity affect you. Communicate your boundaries. Letting the person know that constant criticism is not okay. By maintaining confidence and setting limits, you protect yourself from being constantly belittled and maintain a healthier emotional well-being. Thank you for joining Wisdom Oasis today. If you found this content valuable, remember to like, subscribe, 
and ring that notification bell. Stay tuned for more wisdom and insights. Until next time, take care and nurture the oasis of wisdom within you.